Hey guys. Um, I'm just showing you all of our hats, bibs, um, nappy covers and shoes. So we'll start with the boys. So here's all the boys hats. So there's like sun hats on the left and beanies on the right. And then we've got bibs. And then nappy covers. And then shoes. I'll get closer. This is Paul Frank and Mambo. Nike. Adidas. Little Thomas ones. Little sneaker things. Some Adidas originals. And then we've got unisex. And these shoes are just ones that, um, I know some people are like, well, they're a bit boyish, but I would put them on my daughter, so, yeah. Sorry if the camera's really shaky. It's on my phone, so it's really crap. <laughs> but, you know, it's better than nothing, I suppose. And then Batman, of course. And then girls. Um, I have the least hats in girls than anything else. And then I have the most nappy covers, so, yeah. I did buy some dresses from Coles, and they came, um, that one and these two here. Um, they came with matching nappy covers, which was awesome. So yeah, that's all of our hats, bibs, nappy covers and shoes so far. I'm sure we will be adding to them, but probably adding when we find out whether we're having a boy or a girl. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed. Bye. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what we've got in our drawers underneath the changing table. So we've got two drawers and in on each of them there's three baskets. Um, there's only five baskets here. I don't know if you can tell, it's a bit dark. Um, there you go. Yeah, there's five baskets here because one of the other baskets is filled with the shoes that I just showed you. So, all right. I'll show you one of them. So we've got Bond singlets, a lot in unisex. So we've got some boy socks, girl socks, unisex socks at the back. And then we've got some little booties and mittens. And these are knee pads for when they start crawling. In the back we've got lots of face washes, all different colours. We've got Johnson's baby shampoo, we've got some maternity pads there. We've got baby oil, sorbeline cream, tip to toe wash, bedtime bath which smells like lavender so it makes them go to sleep. Um, bubble bath, grab water, baby powder, lanolin oil, Nurofen 3 months plus. We've got some breast pads. Cotton buds, Johnson's baby soap, and these little out um, outlet plugs, so you know, they don't get electrocuted. We've got two packets of newborn nappies. We've got a bath kneeler, so when you kneel beside the bath, you put your knees on it so they don't hurt. Baby on board and child on board sign, and we've got a belly belt combo kit, so it extends. I don't know if you can see, extend your pants. We've got two refills for our nappy bin, cotton balls and um, a little neck pillow. Um, in this one, I'm actually going to put, not that, but I'm going to put those three things um, in the cupboard and all those hats that I haven't packed away yet, I'm going to put in that one. So they'll be underneath the change table now. And the last one, we've got an airflow sleep positioner so that it goes around the baby so they won't roll over or anything. We've got two bowls with spoons and they've got lids on them with this little air pocket thing. Got some dummies, more dummies. We've got some more, hang on, where are they? Rainforest dummies here. Uh, and then we've got these, hang on, let me grab it. Formula dispensers, which are by Baby Food Movers. And they're three long ones, and they all fit into this little, so 
see how they hold together. I've chosen to get these ones because my sister had the Avent ones, which we've got all Avent bottles, but um, the formula dispenser is kind of, to get it out, it's not the hole on it, so ours goes straight down, the hole on it's like little and then the rest of it goes out. So when you turn it, it all gets stuck. So then you have to turn it around different ways and try and get all the powder out. So we've decided to get these ones because they're mess free and they're supposed to come straight out. So hopefully that works out for us. And we've bought three packets because we'll be end up we'll keep some like, you know, in the nappy bag, we'll keep some in the cupboard and we'll keep some at my mother in law's. Alright, and then we got oh this glass bottle. I love it. And that's the little lid over there. This glass bottle is like so old fashioned. We've got pictures of um, like my my parents and stuff using these kind of bottles when they were little. So I thought I wanted to get one. I know it was like 10 bucks for one bottle, but I don't really care. And then we've got a little sippy cup, which is also Fisher Price Rainforest, and this little bowl, which is the same. Pull it up. It's got a little in the top, it's got a little spoon in here, and then it goes in, and the lid comes off. So that's really cute. And then we've got some forks and spoons here. We've got, um, this is a 12 month plus cutlery set so they can learn to feed themselves using like proper but not too big for them. Um, bath water tester and that's another one. So this one sits on top of the water and then it shows you on the side, it like gives you a colour. And then here, this one you stick on the side of the bath underneath the water and it lights up with a sad face for cold and then an, a normal face for nice. And then a hot one is like a burning face. So, yeah. And then we've got some McLean's Milk Teeth toothpaste. Um, it says zero to three, but I don't know if I'm going to use it from birth or probably just, you know, I don't know. I'd have to do some research on that first. And a Wiggles toothbrush, which is also zero to three years, matches that. We've got a bottle brush and the end of it comes off so it cleans the teats. And then we've got these two dummy clips. So clips on here and it Velcro's on the end. And then we've got two more, which is a boy and girl Batman ones, which they've got a little clip on the end and a button to hold it on here. So yeah, I think that's it. Hang on, let me just get up. Oh, getting tired of doing these videos. So yeah, that's all our stuff that goes in the bottom of our change table. Um, if I've missed anything, please let me know because... Sorry, got cut off there. Um, yeah, please let me know if I've missed anything because I, I've just kind of gone off what other people are putting in and I may have missed something. So yeah, if you let me know, that's really helped me out. So thanks for that. Um, and thanks for watching. I'll be updating you more. Bye.